Hello and welcome back to another how-to series by Trend Micro. My name is Michael Clifford. I'm with the support team for Trend Micro. I handle products such as Apex One and Apex Central and a bunch of other ones. So we've already set up our Apex One and Apex Central in a previous series and got AD synchronized and Apex One has been added to the Apex Central and registered. So we're ready to start issuing policy. So just wanted to briefly go over the different ways in which you can target the policy. So you can begin administrating your agents through that policy. So once you get to the Apex Central console, just go to policies and policy management. And if this is your first time getting policies, you'll see this window on how to create a policy. And it's just a quick guide on how to do so. So for now, we're just going to create an Apex One security agent policy. Just click the drop down and select uh, what, whatever you want to de deploy the policy for. It's important to note that for Apex One security agents, they can only have one security agent policy per endpoint. So depending on the priority level of the policies you have, that agent will get the top priority policy. So we have none right now, so we'll go ahead and create one. And we're not going to go over the entirety of the policy. Those will be additional videos. However, the targeting criteria is what we're going to go over. So for now, we'll just name this test policy just so we can get an idea of what's going to go on before we start actually making policies and crafting them for our agents. So it comes by default as a draft. This means you could fill it out, you could save it, you can do everything, and it won't be applied to any of the agents. Once you get it fully fleshed out how you'd like and you're ready to begin testing in your environment, you can specify a target directly. And this is good when you have very few agents or you know just a handful of operating systems um, that you want to go through. Or if you just want to browse a product directory or active directory uh, structure to pick an agent and deploy the policy to. So this is for relatively few um, and this is statically set. So every time you want to add something to this policy, if it's targeted this way, you'd have to come back and re-add that endpoint uh, so it gets that policy. A more fluid way of filtering is by the criteria. So once you select an item in this, such as an operating system or uh, Active Directory uh, organizational unit or maybe the product directory structure, then any agent added to that, once it's recognized in Apex Central, will get that policy. So those are some of the various ways in which you could target the policy and just pick the one that fits best for your organization. Um, you can cross-sectionalize in the filtering so you can have matching subnets with a matching product directory. And you know the cross-sectional between those two is what the agent will get. So this will vary between organization to organization. There's no real best practice way to do this. It's just depending upon your structure and your organizational needs. Uh, all of them work the same way when you're filtering by criteria. If it matches, it'll get that policy. So that's about it for the introduction to policy management. And we'll get into the actual settings and deployment of the policy in a later video. Until then, have a good one. Bye.